inflicting blows, kicks and fists to Great Britain, but with a noble objective. Until not long ago, Gil Gross, father of three, didn't believe that he would be able to walk normally again. Today, he even rides a bicycle. This novel, Computerized Prosthetic Leg, was unveiled at a convention at Sheba Hospital at the Tel Shomer Medical Center. The new prosthetic leg is different from former models. There are small sensors and a mini computer in the knee and in the ankles. These together measure the movement of the leg in relation to the pace of the stride. So the leg adapts to the activity that the amputee wants to make and in doing so allows for more natural and stable movement. <laughs> The Israeli doctors and the development team had some doubts about unveiling the computerized prosthetic leg publicly. Money was the main obstacle here. Only 200 disabled veterans will receive this computer.